the universe, so vast that we can't even comprehend it, containing billions of trillions of stars and galaxies. But for every bright, shining star, there's a dark, menacing black hole. Technically, anything can become a black hole if you compress the object into a small enough space. This space is called a Schwarzschild radius. In fact, if you were to shrink the Earth down to the size of a peanut, then you would have a black hole. But a star, many, many times larger than our own sun, has a much larger Schwarzschild radius. So when it runs out of fuel, it collapses in on itself, its own weight dragging it down and down until it collapses into an infinitely small point called a singularity. The singularity is infinitely dense, which makes it have such a strong gravitational pull, not even light can escape. That's why black holes are always sur surrounded by a shroud of darkness, as shown. Light coming from behind a massive object like a black hole or this sun will appear in a slightly different place because of the way objects bend light. But a black hole is much larger than that sun, and therefore the effect will be more drastic. Light coming from behind the black hole will be so distorted, it would appear like a ring or a smudge around the black hole. But gravity not only distorts space, it distorts time as well. In fact, as you draw nearer to the black hole, people would see your approach go slower and slower until you seem to stop. This is because you've reached a point called the event horizon. This is a point where once crossed, there is no going back. Not even light can escape the strong gravitational pull of the black hole at this point. This is why people can no longer see you continue past this point. Your body will seem increasingly red-shifted until you just simply faded away. What if you actually fell into a black hole? The closer you get to the singularity, the more and more the difference in gravitational pull is. The bottom part of you will get sucked in faster than the upper part of you, and you'll get stretched out more and more. This process is called spaghettification. By now, you would be dead. The molecules would be stretched apart, and you would get sucked further and further in towards the singularity. And then, when you hit the singularity, well, that's the thing. Scientists don't really know what would happen when you reach the singularity. Would you simply disappear? Or appear in another part of the galaxy? Like a wormhole? Or you might even appear in another universe? But we just don't know. But these monsters have more to them than meet the eye. They can accomplish the impossible. Time travel. Because black holes are so massive, they not only bend space a lot, but time as well. In fact, all things spend space and time, just some not very much. That's why space goes faster in outer space, because the Earth slows down time just a fraction of a second for us. But a black hole is much more massive than the Earth and therefore will slow down time even more. If you are traveling at just the right speed and just the right angle, then you could fall into orbit around the black hole. Then things will get really cool. Five years orbiting the black hole will be ten years for people on Earth.